The workday function will return a date based upon the number of days before or after a start date that we give. To demonstrate this function, what we will do is say that we've got a project starting on the 1st of January 2013 and we know that the project will be 200 days long. We need to know what the end date of that project will be, but we need to take into account the weekends and any public holidays that may fall. So to do that, what we will do is at the project end date, we will put equals workday, open parentheses, and as you can see, it's asking for a start date. So we will select C2, which is the 1st of January 2013, and then comma, and we want to put 200 days, which is the total project days. So we will select C4, and then press comma, and you can see Excel is asking if there's any holidays. We will select this list of UK holidays here to take this into account. So select that range, close parentheses, hit enter, and Excel has calculated that from the 1st of January, 200 working days would be the 15th of October to 2013. So it's excluded all the weekends from the 1st of January over the 200 day period, plus any holidays that may fall. So a project started on the 1st of January and is 200 days long would finish on the 15th of October. If we know that we need to finish a project by the 31st of December, and again it's going to be 200 days long, but we need to know what date we can start the project, we would do exactly the same except where we put project days is 200, instead we put minus 200 and it will calculate backwards to give us the start date. So we'll do equals workday, open parentheses, the start date now will be this end date, the 31st of December, comma, the days, it's going to be minus 200 because we want to calculate backwards, press comma, and then again we're going to select this range of days, which are public holidays, to exclude them as well, close parentheses, hit enter, so to finish a 200 day project on the 31st of December, excluding all weekends and public holidays, we would need to start the project on the 15th of March 2013. Now it's important to remember that the workday function assumes the weekend is on a Saturday and a Sunday. And there are parts of the world where the weekend falls on different days, for example in the UAE the weekend is a Friday and a Saturday. So to tell Excel that the weekend falls on a different day, we'd use a slightly different function, which is called workday.intl. And this gives us the option then to tell Excel when the weekend is. So doing exactly the same calculations as we did with the workday function, we're just going to do equals workday.intl, open parentheses, select the start date. We want to select the number of days, which is 200. Press comma, as you can see, Excel is now asking us for the weekend. Because I said Friday and Saturday was the weekend in the UAE, as you can see from this list here, Friday and Saturday is number seven. So we'll put a seven, sorry, seven, press comma, and then again it's asking for the holidays, so we will use this list of holidays here, select the range, close parentheses, hit enter. And the 200-day project starting on the 1st of January 2013, excluding weekends and holidays, will end on the 16th of October. So finally, uh, counting backwards then, we'll do equals workday.intl, work open parentheses, select the start date, which this time will be the 31st of December. We want to go back in time, so it's minus 200 days. Again, select the weekend, it's Friday and a Saturday, so we'll put seven, comma, and select the holidays, so we'll select this range here, close parentheses, hit enter, so a project ending on the 31st of December, excluding all holidays and weekends, needs to be started on the 14th of March. So that's how the workday and workday.intl functions work.